Hey everyone, it is Brandon once again. So as I posted about in the last few days, um, I just came back from surgery. Um, not one of my best experiences with that, but the thank you to the medical staff who got me all set and took care of me the, uh, for the time that I was in the hospital. Um, I am back home now and just kind of chilling at the moment, um, taking it easy and um, I'm actually not hurting as much as I thought I would, so I'm thrilled about that. And I didn't think I'd be coming back this quick to try and get a video project together, but um, this was just something that came up on the fly in a quick conversation, and I thought it'd be fun to take it into a full video. Um, so here's the deal. So at the start of this year, I did a pretty deep video on my entire music instrument collection, and that's gonna get a follow-up later, maybe at the end of this year or the start of next year. But this got me thinking of doing another idea, a, a musical instrument collection of sorts. However, I'm not doing it with my instruments. I want to do it with the instruments of people I've met and worked around with and played with uh, in Denver music. And I'm really excited for this because I know there are some very unique and wonky instruments out there. Um, you know, this this video, um, granted I'm more guitar and bass oriented than anything, but I'm literally all hands or all free for you know, any sort of wacky things that are out there being used and just to know more about people I've worked with and the instruments they're working with. So here are some general rules just of how this is gonna roll. Um, I am gonna put a cap of how many instruments you can submit at three, um, just because I wanna make sure I shuffle in a lot of variety in here. Um, and again, it can literally be anything. I, again, I'm mainly guitar and, uh, a guitar and bass guy. I don't care. You, you got something really cool and outlandish you wanna throw in here, I'm game for it. Let's do it. Obviously, send in pictures of what you're um, submitting. Um, that's the point of this. And maybe also some information about you know the make and model of the instrument, um, what you're kind of using it for maybe, or if this is just like a cool one-off thing that you've got going, um, I'm good with that. I would love to have your names in this as this is intended to be, again, more on the side of music instruments within Denver um, and local musicians in Denver as well. Um, so your name, you know, attaching your name to that as a proud member of the scene, I would love to do that for you. Additionally, if you're a local music business and you happen to see this, I'm totally good for having businesses turn in their um, instrument submissions as well. I'm still keeping the cap on three, but if you're a local instrument or retailer in Denver, I'm game to have you put in um, any instruments that you feel would be you fear, or, you know, you would, you'd like to feature maybe as a sale item, I'm good with that. And then lastly, I think both of us would appreciate if you actually also gave me um, your socials pages, whether Facebook, Bandcamp, Instagram, whatever, wherever you or your bands have socials pages up, um, send those into me as well, just so I can tie those to your name as well. Um, Cause that way I can give people, I wanna give everyone who else Elias is watching this a link to um, how you use these instruments in your, in your own craft. And also certainly with the local business is if you want to link back with your socials as well um, where people can find your online storefronts and um, your socials pages I will gladly include that for you as well so that is it this is what this project entailed I want to showcase a lot of cool instruments around in Denver music and the awesome people who play them I think this is gonna be something that's really kick-ass to look at and I hope um, for those who submit this um, is a way that I can you know propel people to you and you know have them have them hear and see your beautiful work on these instruments that you own um, or have for sale. Um, so that's that. I am looking forward to these submissions. Again, I wanna try and turn this video around uh, maybe within a week or so. Um, I'm, I don't have a hard deadline for this, but I, of course, just wanna get it done as soon as possible and I would have a weekend to do it, um, get everything assembled and maybe have it out early next week. Um, but nonetheless, shoot me any questions. If I haven't said it enough already, I'm super excited to do this. Um, but looking forward to it. Looking forward to your submissions. Okay, bye.